Good morning, everybody, and welcome to Erner Berry's Tuesday Morning Market Roundup. Today is Tuesday the 27th, and we are going to have a poultry-centric discussion this morning. And kicking things off is Matt with an update on the chicken market. Yes, poultry-centric, poultry-centric. Uh, so let me give you guys a little look at, uh, at some things that are unraveling here in the chicken industry, so to speak. Uh, first thing is cold storage. Um, so whenever there's you know tight supply or um, you know a surplus of supply, people always look at cold storage as one indicator, as like, hey, what's going on? Why are things moving higher or lower? Are people putting things in the freezer? Um, and wings, 52 week high, breast meat too, no surprise, 52 week high as well. But I'm going to focus on wings a little bit here uh, because they've been they've been high pretty much all year in terms of st uh, cold storage stocks and. Um, Many people were kind of hoping that they would start to move lower as we got into this historical demand center for September as football season starts. Actually, movement in cold storage went up from July to August, which isn't that irregular, but it is when when the when the the stocks are already this high. As of now, I mean, this is an all time view. So going back to 2003 of uh, cold storage inventory on wings, only three years are higher right now. So a lot of things were being made about how comparing year over year last year was difficult. So if it was 45% over 2021, that's not a good comparison because 2021 storage stocks were already low, but you see this slow rise here throughout the year and now it's you know historically quite high. And that's one of the reasons why wings are still struggling to gain traction in the time when they normally would, uh, because a lot of people still have inventory and it's growing. Uh, instead of going down at this point, it's actually going up, which we've heard in our talks with a lot of uh, market participants that things are still going in the freezer. Uh, so that's something to note. The other thing we're going to be talking about here is is slaughter. The new monthly uh, poultry slaughter came out uh, just end of last week. So, you know, you see here a lot of uh, 50 week highs and a lot of all time highs here. All of these boxes have nothing to do with turkey. These are all chicken. And it doesn't matter what you're looking at, whether it's um, you know, your total young chicken slaughtered and head for the month or your total live weight or even your ready to cook, you know, it's going to be an all time high. We'll look at here. This is 4.2 billion pounds of chicken um, and ready to cook chilled and frozen for the month of August here. Look at that sharp uptick here. Um, you know, we look at an all time high. Obviously, I, I noted that it is at an all time high. Crowded graph, but speaks to it, right? There is a lot of chicken that's available right now, and demand is not enough, particularly on the food service side for the processing side. But even retail, to a certain extent, isn't nearly enough to uh, to kind of take it, uh, advantage of how much chicken is available. And then we're seeing that, right? We're seeing that on the uh, on prices as they as they trend pretty sharply lower for a lot of stuff. Wings uh, kind of steady, but not where people want them to be. Breast meat, tenders, all that stuff is, is still moving uh, downward at a sharp pace because of where the values were and then the availability. It's just there for the uh, for the taking and buyers are kind of uh, turning a cold shoulder to it right now. Uh, but that's, that's kind of the story right now for chicken. Thanks very much for that insight, Matt. It's a very telling chart. Uh, I am glad, though, to see that wings are building stocks in frozen inventory because I eat a lot of them. Uh, sticking with our feathered friends is going to be Dylan on the turkey side. Good morning, Dylan. Hey, good morning, Courtney, and good morning, everybody. Uh, yeah, so in the world of turkey, uh, it's, you know, a night and day difference compared to chicken right now, um, where chicken appears to be, you know, uh, in a situation where there's plenty of supply, limited demand right now, uh, Turkey's sort of the opposite. Uh, you know, obviously at the root of this is High Path AI, which has been making the rounds more recently. Um, you know, we have seen some cases over the past uh, week or two out of Utah, Minnesota, South Dakota. So that certainly has uh, the concern of industry market participants right now. Uh, and this has been the case for the majority of 2022 at this rate. Uh, in terms of turkey headcount, uh, you can see this chart dates all the way back to 2004. Um, what I really wanted to point out is this red line here at the bottom, which represents 2022. We're at a seasonal all-time low here. Uh, and if we scroll all the way down to the year-to-date figures, again, um, you know, we'll, we'll look over at this bottom row here, the year-to-date sum. Uh, we're at an all-time low here as well at 136 billion birds. So, um, you know, this is certainly uh, playing a role in the market right now, uh, making matters a little bit more severe for anybody on the buying and selling side, our average weights. 
again, uh, this is a five year chart and you can see, you know, in general, bird weights have been trending lower throughout the past several years here. Uh, 2022, however, yeah, is one of the lowest levels we've seen in recent history. And again, uh, if we scroll all the way down at the year to date figures, um, we're about a full 10 points below uh, the next lowest year on record, I believe in 2017 here. So, uh, you know, obviously with lower headcount, with lower bird weights comes lower ready to cook production figures. Uh, so, and again, a very similar looking chart. You can see that through the end of August, we are at some of the lowest levels in recent history. So, you know, the story really hasn't changed a whole lot here. Uh, if we take a look at the most recent cold storage figures, yes, overall total turkey has begun to break above 2021 levels just by a little little bit. Uh, but if we zoom out, let's say we'll take a look at the past decade, you can see that 2021 wasn't necessarily a very strong year in terms of overall production levels or overall cold storage levels here. So, um, you know, we are following a very seasonal path, but you know, time will tell us to whether or not we see some flock replenishment efforts really making the rounds this year. Um, you know, moving forward, of course, market participants will be keeping a very close eye on the hatch figures. We are seeing a slight rebound in hen poult placements right now. We're up about one and a half percent year to date. Uh, Tom's on the other hand, not so much. We're actually down by about 1.2% year to date. Um, and the same can be said for egg sets, which are just down by about one tenth of a percent on a year to date basis. So uh, really looking to see some concerted moves in an upward direction to counteract the flock losses related to high path. But that's about all I have for Turkey this morning. Thanks for that input, Dylan. It'll be really interesting to monitor the bird flu situation and how that impacts the industry in the weeks and months to come. Thank you to all of our participants today and to our viewers for joining us. This has been Erna Berry's Tuesday Morning Market Roundup. It is the September 27th, and we hope you have a great day.